Hi guys, welcome to Content Friday. It's my birthday today and I just wanted to do what I love doing most and that is to create. So in today's video I'm going to show you how I edited this particular photo that I just shared on Instagram. The first thing that I'm going to do is to go through all the photos that I took and then select the one that I choose as background in Photoshop. Once I've chosen my photo, I'm just going to make a copy of it. And then I'm going to just link another photo to it. The plan here is to add the balloons from all the other photos. And then what I'm doing is I'm going to add this photo on a second position and then turn off the opacity, um, turn down the opacity because I want to be able to see both of the photos um, so that I can select the balloons only. And then with the eraser tool selected, I'm just going to change the size of the brush and remove every part of the background that I don't want to have. Now I'm turning back the opacity for just a second to see the changes that I've made to this photo and then continue until I add all the items that I want to. This is the result that I have right now and um, I need to correct everything that was erased so for that I'm going to use the history brush tool and obviously I'm adjusting the size, the hardness and everything. This is actually not hard. Yes, you'll need a lot of patience and you need to be careful. But you're just going to play with the history brush tool and the eraser tool. And now because I want to have as many balloons as possible in my photo, I'm just going to repeat the process. After seeing how time consuming it is, I'm trying a new method and that is by using the quick selection tool and select only the items that I want to keep in my photo. And then I'm just going to invert the selection so that I can erase everything that's left in the photo. Because I have way too many layers, I will just merge all the visible layers um, because actually I don't need some of them. Mm -hmm. 
And now after I added some more balloons to my photo, I have the final result. And what I'm going to do is to duplicate the layer. The plan is to replace the initial background photo with another one to create the rotation effect. Again, we'll have to turn down the opacity just so that we see what happens in the background. We want to add the second photo in the same position as the initial one. Now that we have two variations, we're going to repeat the process until we have four. Because I wanted to apply my own presets on this animation, I saved all the variation and edited them in Lightroom, then re-uploaded everything to Photoshop in order to create this animation. Now I'm going to add each and every layer to the timeline and modify the time for them to 0.1 seconds. And if we press play, we're going to see the final results. However, we need to make several copies because we want to save this as a video. Um, so we want to make it longer. This is why I copied this and duplicated all the frames several times. And uh, now I'm going to save this as a video. And because I want to save it as a reel, I already modified the size of the video. Um, however, I'm going to leave it on the screen so that if you want to have the same dimensions of the video, you can apply the same settings. So that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to like and subscribe for more travel and content creation videos. Thank you for watching.